What do you think? Do budget-friendly products work just as well as their high-end alternatives? Today, I thought we'd put two curl creams in a head-to-head -head test to answer the question, do you get what you pay for? We're gonna look at can the curl cream from Boots that costs under two pounds compete with the one from Way that costs 28 pounds. First up, we'll compare claims that each product make and also their ingredients, and then we're gonna put them to the test. I have got notes, so bear with me while I'm looking off to the side today. The test criteria, you helped me design this. So I put a post out on the YouTube community tab and then also on Instagram. I am at Method to My Ways, by the way, if you don't already follow me. Um, so thank you to every single person that replied because that really, really helped me work out what it is that people look for in curl creams. And the four criteria that kept coming up time and time again was number one, we're looking for frizz control. Number two, we're looking for wave or curl definition. Number three was hydration. And then number four was that you wanted a lightweight product. So something that wasn't gonna weigh down your waves and curls. So that's the criteria that we're gonna be reviewing these curl creams against. So now let's compare the claims that they both make and also have a quick look at their ingredient list. First up, let's talk about the two pound, incredibly budget friendly option from Boots. This product is actually under two pounds at 199. And if you have a Boots Advantage card, quite often you get a further discount on it. So for 250 mil, it is a very, very affordable option. Now this is what it says about the curl cream on the website. Make the most of your natural or permed curls with this high definition styling cream. It controls and nourishes to smooth away frizziness enhances shine and hold your curl without weighing it down. If I kind of compare that to the criteria that we're looking at today, it definitely says it's going to control frizz. Um, number two, it is going to create definition. Number three, hydration. It doesn't specifically say anything about hydration. Um, it does say it's gonna nourish, um, but it definitely also says that it's not gonna weigh down your curls and waves. So, I would say at least three of the four it is claiming to do. What I then did was take the inky list, so the ingredient list for this product, and copied and pasted it into a website called Is It CG? Now that's really talking about Is It Curly Girl Method. I don't follow Curly Girl Method, I don't follow Wavy Girl Method, but this is definitely a really super helpful resource just for finding out a little bit more about the ingredients that go into products. The product is Curly Girl approved, um, so if that's important to you, that's obviously helpful to know. However, there are a couple of things to be aware of from the ingredients, which were highlighted as sort of approved, but with caution. Um, and basically, the thing to be aware of is this product could cause buildup on finer, thin hair. If you're using this and you've got fine, um, low density hair, then you just need to be aware of that and you might need to increase the amount of times that you clarify. Let's now talk about the 28 pound option, the Way Curl Cream. On the Way website, they describe this as being dreamed up by you, developed by us. This do it all curl cream gives definition, hydration and shine to all curl types. So again, if I compare that against the four criteria that we're gonna look at today, is it gonna control frizz where you say that it will? Is it gonna provide definition? It actually uses that word, so yes. Is it gonna give hydration? It also uses that word, so I would say that's a definite. And then the fourth criteria, is it lightweight? Doesn't specifically say that it's lightweight. However, it does say that it's suitable for all curl types. And to me, that means you're also looking at loose waves, um, which is what I have, and therefore it should be lightweight. But it, in all fairness to weight, it doesn't specifically say light, lightweight curl cream. Again, I copy and pasted the ingredients list into Is It CG? And this is what it said about the Way Curl Cream. It is not Curly Girl approved. It has drying alcohols, which is something that you have to avoid if you are following that method. As well as the drying alcohols, it is probably worth mentioning that it does have some moisturizing alcohols in there as well. And then one of the things that was very, very different is this one is packed full of botanical ingredients. So extracts and oils that were listed also on their website 
um, but they're from plants, herbs, roots, etc., and provide a variety of benefits, but including nourishing, refreshing, soothing, moisturizing, and even deodorizing um, benefits for the hair. So that I thought was worth mentioning. So this one definitely should be moisturizing and hydrating. I washed my hair as normal today. I used the same shampoo and just washed twice. I always double cleanse. And then I used a peptide packed conditioner and I detangled in the shower. I then just stepped out and put my hair straight into a hair wrap. My hair's soaking wet and I didn't apply any leave-ins today. Just brushed through with my Tangle Teaser paddle brush and sectioned right down the center into two parts. To ensure accuracy, I actually measured out the curl creams with a measuring spoon. I have never weighed out hair product before. I opted for one teaspoon, but I will tell you now, this was a mistake, but I'll explain a little bit more about that during the results. The other thing I made sure to do was wash everything between application. And I just did that to make sure there wasn't any residue of the Boots curl cream once I did the wayside. Honestly, experiments. That can be tough work. I also opted for a very simple method today. I emulsified the curl creams between my hands as I always would. I applied by glazing and raking it through my hair. I then used the paddle brush again to get as even distribution as possible. I chose to just scrunch and pulse today to create my curl clumps. I felt like any other method would potentially be unfair because I am usually better at brush styling one side more than another. So scrunch and pulse it was. And that was it. I didn't apply any other products. I didn't microplop. Job done. Results, verdict, kind of my overall thoughts. Let's run through the uh, criteria, but very, very briefly before we do that, I do just need to tell you that I feel the only thing really that I did wrong today was I used way too much product. So I have never ever in my life weighed out into a teaspoon any hair product for that matter, let alone a curl cream. Um, but I definitely just don't use anywhere near that much. So I probably would have been better off with half a teaspoon. My hair feels a little bit producty, but I'm not gonna build that into the results. I'm just gonna try and give you like a breakdown of what I think. But if you're sort of sitting there thinking, oh, I don't think this is your best hair day, I somewhat agree. I've, I've just got that residue every time I touch my hair. And I think it's just because there is too much product on there. So I just wanted to highlight that. But now let's get into it. So number one was frizz control. I don't know that you're gonna be super chuffed with me about this. Um, they are both my winners. I can't pick. I think they have both done an equally good job at controlling frizz. So from the point of like when my hair was still wet and I was scrunching and pulsing, as I was drying, and even now, I think the frizz is so, so comparable. I really cannot pick a winner. So for first category, I'm sorry, I know I'm sitting on the fence, but they both went out on that one. Number two, definition. Now I was thinking, oh God, I'm gonna end up really annoying you and picking them both as winners again, because I was doing the footage to show you sort of compare like the side by side footage. And again, I was like, oh, they both look really defined. They both look good. I can see a clear wave pattern on both sides. But then I took some photographs to try and help me. And that's when it became clear that the way probably does just win out. It's got a more consistent definition. So I feel like, although the, the boots has got good definition here at this front section, it's not so great further back and it's not so great underneath. Whereas I feel like the way is pretty well defined all the way to the back. And then there is a bit more definition underneath as well. So for definition, it's way. Number three was hydration. And let's just remind ourselves that actually this one doesn't claim to hydrate hair, this one does. Um, and this one is my winner. And I guess it's because of all those botanical extracts and the formulation. When my hair was wet and I was scrunching and pulsing, it still had that slippery, beautiful seaweed feel. And when I touch it now, it feels much softer, much kind of 
nicer to touch, a lot less residue, even though I've used too much on both sides, there is a lot less residue. I just feel like it's going to stay smooth and soft, whereas on this side, it's actually a bit sticky and a bit crunchy, and then it almost feels a bit dry towards the ends. But I do think, you know, this doesn't claim to hydrate, um, but this would be the winner for that category. And then finally, number four, lightweight. I'm sorry, but they are both lightweight. This one is more pleasant to use. So when I was emulsifying the product, when then I glazed it, scrunched it and so on, it feels much silkier when you apply it. Um, that's probably the best description. It's like silky smooth. This one is much gloopier. And when I was scrunching and pulsing, it almost feels a little bit sticky in my hands, which I don't like because when then you're just doing a really nice simple scrunch and pulse, as you sort of pull your hand away, the hair gets a bit stuck, which then pulls it back down. Um, I mean, it's still not heavy because I don't think either side looks way down, but from a feel and use perspective, this just feels a bit gloopier. So again, I'm afraid this does win the lightweight category as well. But let's face it, from a looks perspective only, I think both have done a really, really good job. And if I was completely budget kind of focused, I probably would pick this. And I say probably because of this next important point that I want to make. And that is to talk to you a little bit about fragrance. Now, um, a lovely lady messaged me actually um, and gave me like her criteria for what she looks for in a curl cream and she mentioned a couple of things but she did also highlight and I thought it was really interesting that she now looks for products that are fragrance free and that is because she has become sensitive to fragrance. So but I think it's really really important that I highlight that firstly this has got a fragrance, it is high up in the inky list, I think it's think it's either five or seven. It's higher up, so it's gonna have a sort of higher concentration of the fragrance. And it is incredibly strong, the smell of this product. Um, when you smell it while it's in its container, it's really, really strong. But I can actually smell it as I sit here and talk to you. So I can smell my hair on this side. It's very floral. I know it's very, very subjective fragrance and smell, but I really, really don't like it. The thing it reminds me of is um, public toilet hand wash. Um, and it just smells really sort of a bit antibacterially, a bit florally, just it, it's quite unpleasant smell. To me, it's subjective. Um, this also has fragrance. However, they do do a fragrance-free option. So if you are sensitive to fragrance, if it does make your scalp itch or sore or red, they do have a fragrance-free option. I've got the fragrance one and to me, it smells beautiful. It's very subtle. I can't smell it um, when I'm sitting here talking to you, mainly because this one is overpowering me. But also look, if I just give my hair a little sniff, I can just about smell it. So I quite like it, but I don't like this one. Um, and I'll be honest, that is what would mainly stop me from using this because everything else, I think for two pounds or under two pounds, it's done a really, really good job. So personally for me, this 28 pound product is worth the money and it is my winner for today. However, if you're not sensitive to fragrance, this does such a good job at so many of the criteria I would say that would be your winner as long as you're not sensitive to fragrance. But this ultimately is the one that I'm gonna reach for time and time again, 100%. I love it. I really hope that you found this type of content helpful. If you did, please drop me a comment and let me know. It's always so useful to hear from you. 
I make content for you. So if there are things that you would like to see, if you'd like other products compared, for example, I'm thinking about comparing two different types of brushes. So the Denman versus the Bounce Curl. If this is the kind of thing that you'd like to see, then just let me know in the comments. And if you haven't clicked like, I'd be super grateful if you could do that. It really, really helps me um, and helps support my channel. So thank you very much if you've already done it. And if you haven't, just take a second and click the thumbs up, would you? Thanks. Thank you as always for watching, take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye.